Let's have a look at a typical exam paper question with regular polygons in mind. Um, we've got to work out angle X in this picture. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six-sided shape. It's a regular hexagon. And so what I'm going to do is make use of knowledge to work out what X is in that picture. I'm going to make use of knowledge I've done in previous videos with you. What I'm going to do first, I think, is I'm going to try and work out. If I could work out in this picture, if you look where X is, if I can work out all of that angle I'm highlighting in red there, which is the ins it's one of these inside angles of the regular hexagon. I'm going to work out the inside red angle there, which is the full angle in the corner. And that's not what X is. Now, if you, if you think about it from the symmetry of the situation, because it's a regular shape, if you take from that corner and you join to the, this is the center of the shape there, then that line there, if you think about it, is going to chop that red angle exactly in half. So that angle there and that angle there, the X and that, will be identical to each other, and they must add up in total to that big red angle, which is the inside angle. So what I'm going to do now is make use of what we did in a previous video, and I'm going to say to you, let's first of all work out what the big red angle is by extending this line on here, I'll do it in green, and working out the exterior angle. So I'm going to say that the exterior angle can be found like this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different sides, so there'll be six exterior angles. And they must add up, as I've told you many times now, to 360. So one exterior angle will be 360 share by 6, which is 60. So in the picture, I can put that green angle on there, 60 degrees. Now, if I know that that is 60, I'll go now to red. I can work out what the inside angle is, because remember, from a previous video, we've got a straight line there, and the 60, and the big red angle, the big red angle, that big red angle plus the 60 must add up to 180. So that must mean that the interior angle, which is not what I want, but it's the first thing I've got to work out, will be 180 take away the 60, which is 120. So the big inside angle, it's very difficult to write it on neatly, but you can see it's 120. So this angle here, all of that inside, as indeed that one is, as indeed that one is, these are all 120 degree angles. 120, 120, 120. That's 120, and all of that in the corner is also 120. But we haven't finished. What this X is, is when you take that corner point there and join up to the center, you're now chopping that exactly in half because of the symmetry of the picture of a regular shape. So when you work out what X is, it'll simply be 120 share by 2, X will be 60 degrees. And that's the end of that question. So if I now apply the same principle, if I get a different sheet out, and I take you now to this, and let's have a look at this top shape. This is a regular octagon. Again, the same idea. We've got to work out this angle. So what I'm going to do, and you should go through all this. You shouldn't memorize these answers. You should show all this working out to the examiner. If I extend that line on there with a ruler, and I'm going to work out the angle outside the shape, which is this exterior angle there. There are eight exterior angles, and they must add up to 360 degrees. So one exterior will be 360 share by eight, which we've done a couple of times already, is 145, sorry, is just 45 degrees. So that's 45 degrees there. What does that mean now for our picture? Well, it means that the inside angle, which is not the X, it's all of that. I'm trying to do this in red to show you. It's the full angle there inside the shape will be, that's the interior angle, interior, will be 180 take away the 45, like we did in a previous video, which is 135 degrees. So that red angle is 135 degrees. So is that, so is that, so is that, that's 135. So is that, so is that, so is that, so is that. So all the interiors are 135. But that's not what we want. We want X. So finally, to get X, you simply, if it's going from the corner to the center, which this is, from the symmetry of the picture, X will be simply 135 
chopped in half, share by two, and you'll end up with 67.5 degrees if you chop 135 into two equal portions. And that's how you work out for the regular octagon when you've got a picture looking like that to find X. If I move this up for one final question like this, this here is a regular decagon. There's ten equal sides. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to get my green and if I want to work out that X, I'm going to take this side here and extend it on to get the angle outside the shape, which is the exterior angle. Now remember, for a regular decagon, there are 10 exterior angles equaling 360. So one exterior angle will be 360 share by 10, which is 36. You shouldn't learn this off by heart. You should show the working out to the examiner. So the outside angle outside there is 36. OK, I'll now change to red. And I'll show you, OK, well, if the outside angle is 36, then all this big angle there in red, which is the inside angle, called the interior angle, will be 180 take away 36, which is 144 degrees. So that red angle there is 144. That would be 144. So with that, 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 so with that. And that is 144 in the corner. Now I know that that is 144. Now X, because you're going from the corner to the centre again, X simply chops that 144 in half. So my final answer for the examiner, and all of this working out needs to be shown, would be X is equal to 144 share by 2. So X is 72 degrees in that picture. So for a picture like this, where you're given a regular shape and you get a corner to the centre and you've got an angle X, which is half the interior, this is the technique that we need to show. This is the technique that we, we need to show. Um, and that's the end of this video. We've got one more video to go on one final type of polygon question.